Tina is one of the many Portsmouth residents waiting on relief. So here I am and I've got a case of water and that's it. She's picking up her share of water from the city of Portsmouth. She says her home hasn't had running water since Friday afternoon. Next morning around 6 a.m. I checked the water again and it was even worse. Couldn't flush the toilets. You know, trickle, trickle, trickle of water coming out. News 3 went to the Lynn Shores and Merrimack Point neighborhoods to see for ourselves and then turned to the city for answers. A spokesperson for Portsmouth told us that they identified the problem and trapped air was impeding water delivery to the area. They say crews have been working around the clock, opening hydrants and valves to bleed the air and restore normal service. Residents say they've been left in the dark. I'm just a little frustrated with the city right now because they couldn't tell us anything and it's taken so long to get some answers and get results. On Sunday morning, officials set up a water distribution center. With proper ID, residents were able to pick up bottled water for drinking and non-potable water to flush their toilets. A case of water does not make up for two and a half days of no water. With temperatures on the rise, they hope for a solution soon. Hopefully it'll all be done by the end of the evening because we're tired of this. In Portsmouth, Aaron Miller, News 3.